in this session we are going to discuss few problems which have appeared in J main J advance in previous years and these problems will be solved using the critical thinking process this critical thinking process will covers the conceptual approach and using the critical thinking process we can achieve the correct answer in minimum possible time it will help to score at the higher level in J main and J advance paper this problem was appeared in J main 2016 it is one of the toughest problem that was appeared in this year there are two concentric spheres and the charge and a point charge q is placed at the center of the sphere between these two spheres there are certain volume charge distribution and the volume charge distribution is given by rho equal to a by r here a is a constant quantity and r is the distance which will be measured from the center of the concentric spheres we have to find the value of a such that the magnitude of electric field in the space between a and b in the space between the spheres will be constant right this problem is the direct application of gauss theorem according to gauss theorem surface integral of e dot da will be equal to total charge enclosed in the gaussian surface divided by epsilon naught to find the electric field at this point which is at the distance r from the center of the concentric sphere we have to take this gaussian surface right and within this gaussian surface we have to calculate the total charge as we know that the total charge will be given by the q plus this charge enclosed by the gaussian surface this total charge come out this q plus integral over rho is the volume charge density into 4 pi r square into dr it will be integrated from a to r from this above discussion we can observe a point the whole result will be independent of the radius of the outer sphere b right and hence the value of a must be this value of a must be independent of b right that means according to this above discussion the option 1 and option 4 will be simply eliminated the correct answer will be option 2 or option 3 now we can assume that let us the correct answer is 2 this one is the value of a then the electric field must come out independent of r otherwise the option 2 will be wrong and the correct answer will be option 3 now to find the electric field at the distance r first of all we have to calculate this total charge q by taking the value rho equal to a by r and capital a we have assumed that the value of capital a is 2 q by pi a square hence we have to place the value of rho and this rho will be equal to a divided by r and as the value of as we have assumed that the value of capital a is 2q by pi a square hence it will come out 2q divided by pi a square into r this one is a square right now we have to place this value in this integration and we have to take the integration from a to r the value of integration will come out hence the total charge will come out q plus this quantity and this will be placed in rhs right and after that we can get the value of e dot da the lhs of the gauss theorem will become e into 4 pi r square this will be equal to from this expression you can simply observe that the electric field between the electric field at the distance r from the center of the sphere depends on the r and hence this option 2 must be wrong and the correct option will be 3